this challenge, I'll introduce Cartesian coordinates. They define all the locations on the stage. If they're new to you, don't worry. You don't have to understand Cartesian coordinates to move sprites on the stage, but it helps. It's very common to move sprites on the stage with the move and turn command blocks and not have to use Cartesian coordinates. First, I'll show the locations on the stage. I'll go to Stage, choose Backdrop from Library, Other, Double-click on the XY grid. I'll move the cat a little bit over. The grid shows the different locations on the stage. I'll go back to Scripts. I can use Go to XY to go to a unique location on the stage. I'll go to my diagram. The stage is 480 units across and 360 units up and down. There are two number lines, or axes. The x-axis goes left and right. Zero is at the center. As the x value gets larger, the location is further to the right, and as the x value gets smaller, the location is further to the left. The y axis goes up and down. Zero is at the center. As the y value gets larger, the location is further up, and as the y value gets smaller, the location is further down. Knowing both the x and y values give a unique location anywhere on the stage. The x value of 0 is in the center, positive x values are on the right half, and negative x values are on the left half. These go-to blocks will place the sprite along the center line across the stage because all the y values are 0. Go to minus 240 and 0 would be the leftmost part on the stage. Then moving to the right, go to minus 200 and 0 goes here. Go to minus 100 and 0 goes here. Go to 0, 0 goes here in the center. Go to 100 and 0 goes here. Go to 200 and 0 goes here. Go to 240 and 0 goes on the right edge. As the x value gets larger, the sprite is placed further and further to the right. And as the x value gets smaller, the sprite is placed further and further to the left. The y-axis is similar to the x-axis, except the y-axis goes up and down instead of right and left. The y-value of 0 is in the center, positive y-values are on the top half, and negative y-values are on the bottom half of the stage. These go-to blocks will place the sprite along the center line up and down the stage because all these x-values are 0. Go to 0 and minus 180 is here. Go to 0 and minus 100 is here. Go to 0 and 0 is here. Go to 0, 100 is here. And go to 0 and 180 is here. As the y value gets larger, the sprite is placed higher and higher up on the stage. And as the y value gets smaller, the sprite is placed lower and lower down on the stage. Here are some locations on the right half of the stage. Positive x values are on the right half. Go to 200. 100, go to 100, 100, go to 100 minus 100, and go to 200 minus 100. Negative x values are on the left side of the stage. Go to minus 200, 100, Go to minus 100, 100. Go to minus 100, minus 100. Go to minus 200, minus 100. Looking at the x values, I have x is minus 200, x is minus 100, x is 100 and x is 200. And the y values, y is minus 100 for all four of these, and y is positive 100 for these four. I'll go back to scratch for a few examples. Again, don't worry if this seems too difficult. You can create many programs in scratch without using Cartesian coordinates. It's very common to use the move and turn command blocks. 
I'll start with the cat at 200, 100, have it move to minus 200, 100, then minus 200, minus 100, then 200, minus 100, and back to 200, 100. Look at go to, go to 200, 100. It'll be more interesting with glides. Glide is like move, but it takes some out of time and an XY location. I'll have it take four seconds instead of one. Move to minus 200, 100. That's the upper left. I'll copy it, duplicate. Now for minus 200, minus 100. Duplicate. Then have the cat glide to 200 minus 100. Remove the minus sign. Then back to 200, 100. Duplicate. Remove the minus sign. I want this to start when the green flag is clicked. Events, when the green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked, the cat will go to 200, 100. Then it'll glide to minus 200, 100. Then it'll glide to minus 200, minus 100. Then it'll glide to 200, minus 100. Then it'll glide back to 200, 100. I'll run it now. Click on the green flag. Move to 200, 100, gliding to minus 200, 100, gliding down to minus 200, minus 100, gliding to 200, minus 100, gliding back up to 200, 100. The program's finished. I'm finished with this challenge. I encourage you to play with this program and get comfortable with Cartesian coordinates. You don't have to understand them to have lots of fun with Scratch, but understanding them will let you do even more things in Scratch. Try changing the program. Rearrange the glide blocks into different sequences and see whether the cat sprite moves around the stage as you thought it would. If you're still having troubles understanding this and want more help, search for Cartesian coordinates on the web. There are many math resource websites available. But above all, have fun with the program. <laughs>